successful with it as of late, especially at Copa America, and part of it is the Nunez's quickness off the mark. Armas for Karofsky getting marked hard from behind by Medina. A big back who plays much taller than his listed height of 5'10". Sané has Trundolo. The U.S. wants to stretch it horizontally. Jones holding his Trundolo overlaps toward the corner. Promote back defensively. Trundolo tries the first touch cross for Stewart. By Adaris. Stewart strikes. Stores! Ernie Stewart! We talked about Chirondolo, the wingbacks getting into the attack, a perfectly flighted cross right near the top of the box, well contested for by Karofsky, but even better, the follow-up by Ernie Stewart arriving at the perfect time. Kobe Jones sets the table for Chirondolo. There's Karofsky, and they're causing some problems, and Stewart does exactly the right thing, keeping the ball down, even though it's through traffic, it gives no chance for the keeper. Phillips, goal cam, you see Stewart with another finish. Ernie Stewart, the all-time leading goal scorer for the United States in World Cup qualifying even before this game. Guevara is shot through a streamer, and Friedel tracks it all the way through. Stewart now has eight goals lifetime in World Cup qualifying. This is his 24th World Cup qualifying game appearance. He's also the all-time leader in that category for the United States. His goal in the seventh minute. Karofsky in there against Valladares to help the ball pop loose. Chirondolo made the initial cross after his overlap with Jones on the right side. The U.S. Stretch, stretched it horizontally, got Honduras a little bit exposed in the back, and the quick first touch play of Chirondolo led to a defense being in flux. A smoke bomb on the field and plenty of fumes here at RFK. Reyes racing through into the back third. Donovan back defensively, and Sané also gets the ball loose. Jack, there's a couple of things going on here. The United States have stopped Honduras on several counterattacks, including that last one, and it's due to the work and the positioning of Chris Armas and Tony Sané, who are holding midfielders in that center part of the midfield, which allows then Torondolo to get forward into the attack because you have the extra numbers back. Guevara's long shot on Risky, but he knows what his other options are. Pabon just past the Tosios, back to Pabon, looking for Nunez, he drives scores! Chest pass from Pavone in the middle of this sequence, and Brad Friedel was left naked. Well, it just ends up being a clearance almost, but it's dropped down very nicely. And then the break is on for Honduras. They're known for this. Sarandolo pleading for offside. I think he got it wrong. And this ball curved in behind all of the USA defenders, and the shot by Tyson Nunez buried underneath a helpless Brad Friedel. Great ball by Pavon to find that space behind the U.S. defense. It's perhaps a bit of a rookie mistake by Chirondolo to let Nunez run. Nunez has 4.45 p.m. Pacific time. For more information, log on to ESPN.com. The first big college football Saturday of the autumn, the 1st of September. But it's a huge soccer day for the U.S. at RFK with a full house. Donovan hauled down in the box. Now down goes Karofsky. Penalty kick. to compliment the official because he played on after the initial foul to Landon Donovan. He played the advantage, allowing Ernie Stewart to carry the ball deeper into the penalty area. Donovan is fouled here. The ref could have called this. He's about to go back and call it. He's seeing whether the advantage develops. And Jovan Karofsky tripped up in the box. Was Karofsky shaving his head? Makes him look like Ernie Stewart just a little bit. And he is tangled up in the penalty area. The referee calling that exactly right in terms of letting it play on after the first foul against Donovan. Reyes and Medina on the double team that took down Karofsky. Well, Bruce Arena did not expect to get a penalty kick call, did he? Medina has picked up a yellow card in the 42nd minute. 
Ernie Stewart, the man wearing the captain's armband for Bruce Arena. Arena told us yesterday it would be Stewart's decision on a penalty kick. And it appears that Ernie wants the ball on his foot at this crucial moment in this game. The U.S. scoring on a Stewart blast in the seventh minute. Nunez scoring in the 28th. Hope saving the ball that would have gone in in the 34th minute. And now in the 43rd, Stewart the chance to put the U.S. up. Great deal of debris has rained down in the goal mouth. Ayadares doing some housekeeping. Honduran fans. The game is here to be won, but Honduras right now, knowing that they have a speed differential up front, no one on the USA, with the exception of Eddie Pope, thus far has shown that he could stay with Nunez or Pavon. This portion of the match is brought to you by Budweiser. Ty, it seems that that rock solid, as we look at Nunez limping a bit, Pavon. Here's Reyes on the overlap trying to beat Agus. Can he turn the corner? Agus, the shoulder charge. They both go down. It's a penalty kick. Reyes, the defender, overlapping and beating Jeff Agus around the corner. Reyes, a quick right back getting forward, just barely getting his heels clipped by Jeff Agus, but this is a problem. In terms of Agus being able to stay with some of these quicker players, in terms of Ray Xi being able to stay with some of these quicker players, on the day, it hasn't been good enough. What you want to see maybe is Eddie Pope spending more time closer to Carlos Pavon and Chirondolo Pitti Pavon to take it. The leading goal scorer in World Cup qualifying has been denied twice on great chances here early in the second half. He will get no better chance ever than this. 12 yards away, one touch. Honduras ahead. But it really took Pavon four tries to get himself a goal. Remember the one that was cleared off the line by Eddie Pope in the first half. These two breakaway chances that he squandered earlier in this half. And now the fourth time is a charm as he puts that so far in the lower corner completely out of the reach of Brad Friedel and Brad Friedel has tremendous reach but that ball just inches inside that post. The United States has not trailed at home in the final round of World Cup qualifying. The U.S. hadn't given up a goal at home until today. Now it has scored first blown a lead and is now down 2 one to a team surging to the corner. De Leon against Sonic. De Leon beats him to the end line, keeps it in bounds. Hope away. Nunez scores. The U.S. is in deep, deep trouble. Tyson Nunez, Carlos Pavon, and helping out here. Good little setup play by De Leon to get it out in front. And Nunez pounds the ball through a crowd of players, but it was the work initially by De Leon and the good fighting there by Carlos Pavon at the near post, which shook the ball loose. Nunez there opportunistically to put it away. The United States not only staring at a two goal deficit, but looking up at the clock and wondering. If there's enough time, even with the substantial stoppage time that will be added on. The United States is unbeaten in its last 19 home World Cup qualifiers dating back to the left side. But now here's a break for Guevara all the way in on Frito. Wide. Nine clearance by Eddie Pope. Sané back into the middle. Stewart tries the volley. Hits the bar and looked like it went in. Looked like it went in. 
it's a goal! It's a goal! The United States has a chance! Reminiscent of the goal in overtime in the 66 World Cup final. It hits the underside of the bar and goes over the line. Jeff Hurst all over. The far referee's assistant, no hesitation, though. He started sprinting back toward his position near the halfway line as the ball ricocheted off the other side of the crossbar. That's it. The yep. whole ball has to cross the whole line. You easily could see green there on our overhead shot between the ball and the line. So it's a 3-2 game as the U.S. gets a little closer offside here. Could be a... Honduras wins. 3-2 final. The Hondurans elated. The United States beaten at home for the first time in 16 years in a World Cup qualifier. The United States overall not able to create enough offense to keep the 